It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thanks so much for being here. Today's video, um, Barbara Eden, who had one visit to Mayberry, of course, it was in a manicurist. Uh, but there were several other things that happened in that episode that made it just as important. Take a look. Dick Elliott portrayed a mayor so often on screen that actor probably received write-in votes in real, ele real elections. Born in 1886, the rotund, reedy-voiced performer had the perfect traits for playing small-town bigwigs. He first played a fictional mayor in The Worst Woman in Paris in 1933. The Boston native was quickly typecast. You can find him as mayor in El Dorado, Silly Billies. The town went wild. The Texas Jamboree, high school hero, the son of Rusty, Adventures of Bill uh, Hickok, The Lone Ranger, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, and Death Valley Days. I've always suspected that the mayor of Halloween Town in The Nightmare Before Christmas was modeled on his persona. But Elliot will be best remembered as Mayor Pike, the man in charge of Mayberry on The Andy Griffith Show. Sporting an old-fashioned bow tie and leading with a blustery style, Mayor Pike is seen in just under a dozen early episodes of Andy. His final appearance came in Season 2, The Manicurist. That episode aired mere weeks after his death, around Christmas time of 61. The Andy Griffith Show replaced him with Parley Bear, who played Mayor Stoner, with no explanation. The manicurist would also provide our final glimpse of another charming Mayberry resident, the elderly Emma, played by Cheerio Meredith. In season one, she is known as Emma Brand. Here for no good reason other than lack of continuity, uh, she's named Emma Watson. In the end of the episode, she became uh, becomes the matronly manicurist in town. After the seductive Ellen Brown departs, Meredith passed away on Christmas Day in 64. Now that brings us to Barbara Eden. Her role as the title manicurist uh, would be her only appearance in Mayberry. A few years later, of course, she became part of television legend herself as Jeannie on I Dream of Jeannie. At the time, uh, she was coming off a lead role in the now forget forgotten How to Marry a Millionaire. Now wait, there's one more thing about the manicurist, and that would be one of her male customers. Well, male customer, literally. Uh, the Mayberry man you see getting his nails done uh, right here is none other than Colin Mayle, the announcer heard in the opening credits. Yep, this is the voice you hear saying Andy Grippa show at the start of every episode. Uh, he has a small speaking role as a game warden in the 64 episode Andy and Helen have their day, but this is the first time we see his face in Mayberry. So you never really know what first and last have happened in certain episodes. Uh, and this one had a lot of them, man. And just so sad to see Mayor Pike go because I loved Mayor Pike. I thought I liked him. I liked Stoner. I'm one of the rare ones who liked Stoner. I thought he played a really good drunk, by the way. But uh, I love Mayor Pike because he was one of those kind that, uh, well, he was our fat little mayor. That, <laughs> that would be a fight against fight. Fight, fight against something, and then when, when the majority was against him, then he would say, yeah, we told him, didn't we? You know, then he would agree with him. That's what I loved about him, and he was very good. And Emma Brand, Emma Watson, whatever, uh, just the cutest little old lady in the world, and it's just, just sad. Anyway, now not to bring you down. <laughs> now, to bring you back up again, let's say, Barbara Eden, she was on the Andy Griffith Show. And nature spent a lot of time on her, boy. <laughs> That's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. Uh, classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Please go over there, subscribe. Please watch them, too. You know, yeah. Please like this video. If you haven't subscribed here, please do. You guys have a great day. God bless. And I'm always praying for you guys.